<laughs> Welcome everyone, it's Owen from Motor Annex. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Renault Clio. Renault, as you know, if you don't go Google it, go YouTube it, Renault are steeped in motorsport history. Uh, they go right back to the 1960s and 1970s, but we'll put a link in the, in the uh, YouTube below. Basically, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Clio 172. Renault Clios uh, are they're affordable now, and the sports version, the 172, has gone through a few phases. It's had a few redesigns, and it came out in 1999, I believe. They released the Clio 172 Cup. They released the Clio Trophy. And Renault, how, like I said, are steeped in, uh, in hatchback history. Megane 225, Megane R26, going right back to the uh, Renault 5 GT Turbo and before that. They knew what they were doing. When Renault designed hatchbacks, they really know what they were doing. And the beauty of owning a Renault Clio now is that you can pick what you like. You can go, you can pick a car that you can pick up for maybe 500 quid and you can tune it to the track day if that's what you want to do. Or you can maybe get a cheap one that needs a bit of fixing up and use it for the weekend and just go out and have some fun they're affordable or if you can expand your budget a bit more get a really nice tidy one maybe a trophy that's a bit more limited edition that's been really looked after and they're a good daily car you can take the kids to school in it you can go to the shops in it and then at the weekend you go do a track day drive it home i've done it drive it home and then use it for work the next day it's brilliant they're a great car and i'm going to talk to you about that today right so basically this is a clear 172 uh they're a budget car um, if you're looking for something that you can use every day, they return, I, I mean, this one, from what I gather, they return about 20, between 21 and 26 to the gallon. Uh, obviously, they're a, uh, they're a regular road car, no turbocharger, nothing like that. Um, they're a two-litre engine. It's an F4R engine with, uh, with variable valve timing. So it's quite a large engine for the size of the car. I estimate they weigh between 11 and 1,200 kilos. This one's got Alcantara in here, no electric seats, um, all the safety equipment, and, uh, and it's a very, very usable car. I'm currently going through our local village and I'm going over speed bumps at the moment. It's on stock suspension, stock wheels, stock tires. I think it's got an intake in it and maybe a sports exhaust. It's a bit louder, as you can hear. They do have a couple of common problems. The most notable from all of the 172s and the F4R engines is the defaser. Now the defaser, the defaser, having worked on a lot of Renaults, I worked for Renault for six or seven years uh, when I was younger. Um, the defaser pulley is, uh, is a camshaft pulley that alters the camshaft timing when you're accelerating. So it advances the timing, more air in, so the fuel's adjusted accordingly and you get a bit more performance out of it. And that's what gives you that bit of a hike in power over a regular two litre 16 valve engine. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's very factual, but what it really means is how fun that is when you're on the road. And for a two litre engine to, to make about 170 horsepower, I know Honda are making, their two litre engines are making upwards of 200 horsepower, but for a two litre engine to make 170 brake, it's got to have something a little bit different, and that is the uh, variable valve timing in this case. They're a very well tuned engine, the cylinder heads are really well designed, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, they, um, they tick a lot of boxes. Wow. I cannot keep up with that. <laughs> okay, so I've just accelerated from... <laughs> that was Bash's Clio. Uh, I've just accelerated from 20 in second up to the legal limit of 70 miles an hour, and I now can't see Bash in the distance. Um, they go well, don't get me wrong, Clio 172s are a lively little car, they go well, they're just, they tick a lot of boxes, but as been proven there, something you can't see, which you're gonna see soon, uh, they can be improved upon. And that was a very, very good example of what can happen if you do. So if the Clio 172 ticks as many boxes as what it does, and it's as fun as what it is, and the suspension's good, and the brakes are good, then it can't be approved upon, right? Okay. So, I've had the keys handed to me for the Clio 182. Great car, Clio 182. This is the turbocharged one. So, 
the guy who owns this car, has fitted a turbo kit. Well, I'll try and get a link for the turbo kit <clears throat> below. It's about two and a half grand. And this has transformed the car from what was, oh yeah, they go all right, yeah, yeah, to, ah! you know, that sort of feeling. I mean, there are, don't get me wrong, there's faster cars out there. They're, you know, I mean, some, some of the modern stuff, the modern turbo stuff, the new Golfs, new Astras, that sort of stuff, they're as quick as this anyway, but they cost more money. They're not different, you know, and uh, maybe they don't handle so well. There's lots of other stuff about it. So I'm gonna give this a quick road test and find out what it's like to drive a 240 horsepower Clio rather than 170 horsepower Clio. First thing I notice, I've just come out of a junction. The first thing I notice straight away is that the turbo comes in instantly, it's there. Um, it starts making boost before 2500 RPM, it's right there. So <clears throat> we'll just get onto a bit of open road, we'll do some acceleration tests and, uh, and see how it feels. Fourth gear at 2000 RPM. Yeah, it's making boost by 2200 RPM. I mean, and that, there is a bit of a flat spot with the, the Clio 172. It's a great engine, but it doesn't start producing great power until you've really wound the revs up a bit more. But in the turbocharged engine, it's pulling hard. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm coming out of that a little bit. Right, so the first thing I'd say I noticed, no, the second thing, is that that power started to come in much earlier than what I thought. I know when I was coming out that junction a moment ago, that started to, I, I could feel the boost was being produced, but I didn't have my foot right down. And I got into, I just quickly short shifted to full thin and it still carried on making power. Oh, what great fun, man. What a great, as if they're not good enough already, and then you get a turbo one. <laughs> Seven PSI, seven PSI boost, and it chucks power at you. All right, it's front wheel drive. There's a lot to be said for front wheel drive cars. They're great fun, they're predictable. I've got, I don't have a bad word to say about it. My preference for drag racing, obviously, is a rear wheel drive car. But uh, I think the legs of this, the legs of it designed, you know, it's not designed to be doing 150, 160 miles an hour. It's capable, don't get me wrong, it'll do 160 miles an hour, most likely, but just, you know, the, the B roads and track days and stuff where the maximum sort of speed you're gonna to get to is maybe 110, 120 miles an hour. We're just gonna get there quicker. That is the point. Okie dokie, second gear, 3,000 RPM. Oh, a bit of torque steer there. Wow, that feels good. No excessive noise either. This is not the tiny little bit of wastegate chatter from the turbo. I'm gonna get on the brakes a bit earlier because you don't quite realise how quick you're going. Yeah, a bit of wastegate chatter, a little bit of extra exhaust noise, but nothing too crazy. There, there are steps you can go to improve the power more. The seven psi stock compression. They make 200, about 240 horsepower. There is a kit you, you can buy with a set of pistons with a dish in it to drop the compression and enable you to run more boost pressure, therefore more power. And that enables you to run about 280 horsepower, which in a car that weighs about a thousand kilos is ample, I'm telling you. Here we go. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sold. I'm sold on the Clio 182 Turbo. I'll buy one, all right? One day I'll have one. I hope it's gonna be this one. So, there you have it. If you've got the budget to buy a small car to use as a track car, and if you've got the budget to make it keep up with some really powerful stuff, Turbocharging your Clio 172 is probably about one of the most cost efficient ways of doing that. Modern cars, modern hatchbacks, and performance cars are upwards of 300 horsepower. In a car that weighs 1,000 kilos with 240 horsepower, that is the way you're going to go to keep up with everything else on a budget. <laughs> <laughs>